Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, will you join me on June 13th for the Xbox and Bethesda showcase at E3? It's finally time. We're finally going to get some proper Halo Infinite news. I cannot believe the wait we've been going through, the delays, the lack of E3 last year. Like, this has just been non-stop. And we are finally going to get some proper Halo news on June 13th, 10 a.m. Pacific Pacific time, 1 p.m. Eastern time, 6 p.m. British Standard Time. Ugh. Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. This is just, yeah, we're gonna elevate more and more now. It's finally the time that we can start just rolling out all of these Halo-related, Xbox-related news updates. I'm so excited for what the next two weeks hold, and then hopefully, once the cap's off, there's gonna be non-stop Halo news up until release, which, I mean, hopefully we also get a release date, because <laughs> we're still wondering about that as well. Before we start today's video, I want to give a shout out to Fletch, one of the good old Halo content creators on this platform. His dad was unfortunately diagnosed with motor neuron disease. Him and nine other content creators, all Halo YouTubers, are doing a fantastic 24-hour live stream this Saturday to raise money. They've already raised a thousand pounds in, like, the first hour or something, so please do go check check that out. Link in the description so you can go support that content creator. Xbox just graced us with this beautiful cover art for their Xbox and Bethesda showcase at E3 on June 13th. And the, have, you, have you ever heard of a game called Halo? Because... That's, uh, that's all they've got going on on this banner. <laughs> I've seen speculation online about, like, just how much Halo is going to be at E3. How much Xbox is going to show. Are they just going to, you know, put out a little trailer and wait for a proper Halo showcase in a month or two months' time? Are they just going to reveal the multiplayer, but basically nothing about the campaign? This would suggest that we're basically just going to get a Halo showcase from Xbox. I mean, though, we'll probably get a lot more, but I imagine that Halo might start and cap the presentation with a, at least what, what I'm hoping would be about a 20-minute presentation with a multiplayer beta going live after E3. That's, that's what I would hope. I'm hoping that we see a huge amount of campaign details. I hope we see multiplayer, at least maybe like 6v6 and some big team battle 2.0. Like, we need to see something. And then I also think that at the end of the presentation, they're going to tease the Flood. That's definitely what I'm rooting for. I, I'm pitching for that court. I want Flood revealed at the end of my presentation. Let's talk about what's on this banner because these Spartans are not just your everyday Spartans. Now, I'm not myself a Halo fan, but I've heard from a few people that Noble Team are quite popular in the Halo universe, you know? No, I, I've always tried to gauge going out of Halo 5 Guardians what is like the legacy game for most players right now. What is the most important game in people's hearts? I think it always used to be Halo 3, but I think it's definitely gravitated towards Reach based on the player fan base that grew up with that game and have now grown grown up to be the kind of people that talk online. So Halo Reach, I would argue, is the most fan favorite game right now. When they brought all of Noble Team's armor into Halo 5 Guardians, I remember that was a huge event. Porting Halo Reach into MCC and then into PC as well. And right now, you know, they, they've kind of taken the show. They, they have like Emil and Carter on the banner, which is a little bit wild. I know people online are going to be madly speculating about Noble Team returning, which ugh, I, don't, I don't know. I see that a lot of people still, to this day, argue that Noble Six is in a cave somewhere. And when Shadows of Reach came out, I think a lot of people were at the back of their mind expecting them to discover Noble Team just eating, like, stim packets in a cave somewhere. Maybe they'll at least find his armor and reconfigure it. I know that a lot of toys right now are making sort of Noble Noble Six-esque armor. I mean, Mega Constructs has been doing it a lot, and Jazzware just revealed their Spartan Collection Series 3, which does seem to have a Noble Six-inspired Spartan. So there's a lot of speculation online. First of all, no, Noble Six is not alive in a cave, okay? That's not gonna happen. I guess they're probably just teasing these armors because they know they're fan favorites, but it does seem odd that we have them. I've seen a couple of people online saying, well, what if Noble Team is being, like, resurged, like, reinvented by only operatives? Like, they've taken some Spartans and they're making them into like a new noble team, which 
that's a dope idea, but why would they have another EVA with a skull scratched into his helmet? Like, that was just Emil's personalization of his armor. I get that they might introduce, like, a new commando, air assault, and all that kind of jazz, like, as new issue Spartans to deal with the Banished, but I don't think they'd start making defaced armored EVAs anytime soon. My best prediction is it's probably just hype. It's probably just a way of 343 saying, hey, we got you. We got your old armors. We've got the fans. We understand you. I mean, there's even a Jun off to the right of the picture, so I think this is probably all just cool armor that they're adding to the game, but you never know. Maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe they'll revive Noble Team and scratch up some more EVA. We got the Mark 7 front and center. I absolutely love this armor. I've been saying from the start, my favorite armors in games are usually the default armors. I love Recruit and Soldier and Warrior in Halo 4, and the Mark 7 is no exception. We'll talk about the weapons next, most notably the Sidekick Pistol, which looks like it's been redesigned. Daniel thinks it looks quite similar to the Spectre Call of Duty figures pistol, which I don't think that crossover is happening, but it does look a lot better in my opinion compared to the original E3 demo. Then we've got a gorgeous MA40 and the Stalker rifle, and this Stalker rifle was shown off really nicely in the Jazzware World of Halo toys with the Jackal Sniper. Makes sense that the Jackal Sniper and the Jun variant, both snipers, are holding this rifle. That's what we've got for today, folks, and I just love the armor coatings that are included on these weapons and Spartans as well. And that really just starts the timer until June 13. I'm going to be live streaming my reactions on the day. I've actually got five days off of work, so I'm going to be doing a ton of videos, as many as possible, on the whole of E3. It's just a time to support your good old content creator, the domain, as I really try to, like, get in on that Halo news feed, you know, that though, I want to get in with those big boys in Halo, you know? I want to be dancing with the, the big YouTubers this E3. Either way, guys, I'm just shaking with excitement here. We also see the Psychic Pistol has a flashlight attachment. I'm really hoping that flashlights do return, especially when walking through the caves of Zeta Halo these non-natural formation caves. And yeah, I'll see you guys on June 13th and many, many times before that. Have an awesome day out there. You stay awesome. You stay safe. The Domain is signing off.